Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Today our group is going to present about antimony poisoning. Antimony is symbolized by the letter SB from the Latin stibium. It is a silvery white metal with atomic number 51 that is found in the Earth's crust. Its main applications are industrial. It can be divided into occupational and non-occupational exposure. For occupational antimony poisoning, it involves the workers in industrial that produce antimony and antimony trioxide, metal mining, smelting, and refining. For non-occupational antimony poisoning, it involves the exposure to antimony in medications such as tata emetic that is used to induce vomiting and in treatment of helminthic and fungal infections. Antimony and its compounds are among the oldest known remedies in the practice of medicine and they have been used to treat a variety of illnesses over the last 600 years. Currently, antimony compounds are used to treat the parasitic disease Leishmaniasis. The roots of exposure of antimony poisoning include intraperitoneal, intravenous or intramuscular injection. People may be exposed to antimony by breathing the air, drinking the water, and eating foods that contain antimony. The exposure can be by skin contact with soil, water, and other substances that contain antimony. People may breathe and have skin contact with high levels of antimony in dust if they live or work near antimony mines or processing companies. Children may also be exposed to antimony by eating dirt. Actually, the cases of antimony poisoning had occurred from long ago. For example, in May of 1878, the Vosburg case that involved the young pastor that tried to poison his wife. It was alleged that he repeatedly administered overdoses of Tata Emetic to kill his wife due to their marriage problems. Next case involved the two brothers that took Tata Emetic about half an hour after breakfast as they imitated their father that had the habit of taking soda after breakfast. Unfortunately, they got a hold of the bottle of Tata Emetic instead of soda, but luckily, they were treated at an early stage and able to survive. Next, I will explain about the response of antimony. The mechanism of toxicity for antimony is not known. However, it may be related to binding to sulfur group that will enhance the oxidative stress and inactivating the K-enzyme. The ingested antimony are also corrosive to gastrointestinal mucosa membrane. The response of antimony can be effective, toxic, and lethal. The effective dose uh, depends on their users. As an emetic, the dose is usually 30 to 60 mg. The dose uh, in cough remedies or expectorants is from 1 to 8 mg. And as an intravenous injection for treating Cystosoma japonicum, infection uh, is a solution consists of 0.5% that, that will be injected uh, slowly on alternate day that will cost the total of 500 ml for the whole injection. For the toxic dose, uh, the workplace limit is 0 0.5 uh, mg per cubic meter. Uh, within eight hours, the air is considered dangerous to life if is uh, 50 uh, milligram per cubic meter. The amount as low as 0 0.529 milligram per kilogram can result in vomiting. The oral exposure to antimony predominantly affect the gastrointestinal system. The repeated prolonged exposure to airborne antimony trichloride, antimony trisulfide, and antimony oxide was seen to cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, and ulcer. As for the little dose, 130 mg was proved to be fatal. Uh, for the as uh, for the experiment uh, that be, that have been done, about 150 mg per kilogram of body weight in rabbit and mice is up to 600 mg uh, per kilogram of the body weight uh, are proved to be fatal. And another test that can be done uh, on rat, uh, the little or a dose is 100 mg per kilogram with LD ranging from 3,200 to 4,000 mg per kilogram of the body weight. One of the adverse effects of antimony poisoning is the respiratory effects. The primary target is the lungs and the effects can be acute, intermediate and chronic duration inhalation exposure. Uh, the absorption of the antimony particle is the function of the particle size. Aerosols containing small compounds of the antimony 
with low water solubility and dispirity in the lungs for a longer period of time. Besides cardiovascular effects due to the increase of blood pressure and altered electrocardiogram, which is the prolongation of the QT interval, uh, inhalation exposure of antimony results in degenerative changes in the myocardium of the heart. Gastrointestinal effects can be seen such as abdominal pain, vomiting, nausea, and ulcers because antimony is known for its amatic properties. Reproductive effects can be seen when there is inhalation exposure of antimony uh, towards pregnant women and this will lead to the growth deterioration in the infants. Dermal effects uh, can be seen when there is antimony spots which are pustules and eruptions in the trunks and limbs near the sweat and sebaceous glands. The epidemiological database consists of occupational exposure, accidental or exposure, general population exposure, and experimental studies. The demo data on the humans are limited to a study in which the antimony was applied on the skin of the volunteers and occupational exposure studies that involve demo exposure to airborne antimony. One inhalation study evaluated the reproductive and developmental toxicity of antimony, the acute and intermediate toxicity of thermally applied antimony trioxide and antimony oxide has been examined. However, the available studies did not examine the systemic toxicity of antimony, but they were designed to assess the dermal and ocular toxicity of antimony. There are several epidemiological exposure studies that have evaluated the toxicity of inhaled antimony. However, interpretation of these studies are limited due to the inadequate reporting of exposure level. Okay, so hi, I will talk about the progression of usage antimony. The most important thing is to avoid direct contact with antimony. Since it is very toxic chemical, it requires expert advice on control measures. Next, people can prevent direct contact with antimony by wearing direct vent goggles when airborne particles are present. Next, eating, drinking, and smoking are prohibited in areas where chemicals being handled, processed, or stored. The other precaution is use suitable respirator and consider all potential sources of exposure in workplace. Before entering confined space where antimony powder or dust may present, it is important to make sure that uh, explosion concentration does not exist. Since it is in form of dust, do not apply dry whip during cleanup. Instead, use vacuum or wet method to reduce dust. Next, I will talk about government act for any dangerous to human and flora fauna. There are a lot of government act for antimony that may cause dangerous to human and flora fauna. In UK, Environmental Protection Agency, or known as EPA, has been established as federal government to protect human and environmental health. It creates standards and laws promoting individual health and environment. In antimony cases, EPA has determined that exposure to drinking water containing 0.01 mg of antimony per liter is not expected to cause harmful effect. Next is National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or it is known as NIOSH. It is part of US that focuses on study of worker safety and health and empower workers to create safety and health workplace. Every country has NIOSH. Next, we'll go to Occupational Safety Health Administration, or it is known as OSHA, that create and enforce regulation. For example, here, OSHA has set limit of 0 0.0 mg per meter cube of antimony in workroom air to protect workers. And lastly, we will go to Department of Environmental, or known as DOE. In Malaysia, DOE is responsible for regulation of industrial waste. It enforced EQA 1974 that responsible in presence the quality of human environment. All in all, antimony has been proven to be toxic towards humans for various routes of exposure. Therefore, a lot of waste have been provided by multiple agencies in order to prevent it from causing harmful effects towards the human as well as nature. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. With that, we thank you.